Hey there, it's Michael Bust. Welcome back to my channel where I share videos uh, specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students. So here we go. All right, everybody's favorite segment, Dath Jokes. So here we go. Why was the student confused when she went from English class to math class? I don't know. Why was she confused? Because she was taught in English that a double negative is bad, but in math, it's positive. <laughs> <laughs> So in example one, we're trying to describe the relationship between the terms in this arithmetic sequence. So we have 8, 13, 18, and 23. And what we want to find out is what's being added each time to each of the terms. <clears throat> so we have 8 plus some number is 13. If I didn't know what that was, I could use the inverse operation and do 13 minus 8 is 5. So I now know that to go from 8 to 13, I'm adding 5 to that. Now let's see if it's true that I'm adding 5 to each of these terms. So 18 minus 13, because that's the previous number in the sequence, that does equal 5. So to go from 13 to 18, I am adding 5 to it. And then to go from 18 to 23, I'm also adding 5. So what that means is that my relationship is that I'm adding 5 each time. I can also write that as plus 5. It means the same thing. So the next step in this problem is that I want to find out what the next three terms are in the sequence. So I know I ended at 23, so I'm going to add 5 to that, and I get 28. I'm going to start at 28, add 5 to that, and I get 33. And then for my third term in the sequence, or the third, the next third, is going to be 33 plus 5 equals 38. So the next three terms in the sequence are 28, 33, and 38. In example two, we have the same type of problem. We're looking for some sort of arithmetic sequence, some number that's added each time to uh, the number in front of it to get the subsequent number. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second term, which was 0 0.6, and I'm going to subtract the first term from that. So 0 0.6 minus 0 0.4 is going to be 0 0.2. Let's see if this pattern continues. So I'm going to start at my third number in the sequence, and I'm going to subtract the second number from this in the sequence. And 0 0.8 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.2. Let's try to see what would happen if I took that third sequence, 0 0.8, and added 0.2 instead of subtracting. So 0 0.8 plus 0 0.2 is going to be 1.0. So I now know that the relationship between the terms in the arithmetic sequence is to add 0 0.2. 
to or plus 0 0.2. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out what the next three terms are in the sequence. So I'm going to start at 1.0 and I'm going to add 0 0.2. So I'll get 1.2. Then I'll start at 1.2, add 0 0.2, I'll get 1.4, and then finally start at 1.4 and add 0 0.2, and I'll get 1.6. Those are the next three numbers in this sequence. In example three, it says the green cards that Meredith makes are sold in boxes as a gift at a gift store. The first week she sells five boxes. And then each week after that, the store sells five more boxes. And this pattern is going to continue. What we want to find out is what's kind of the pattern that we're noticing. And how many boxes would she sell after one, the hundredth week? So I can think of the position of the number in the sequence as the number of weeks. The operation is going to be, I'm going to take that number of weeks, so number, week number one, and I'm going to multiply it by five because she's going to sell five boxes. In the second week, she's going to sell two times five boxes, so ten boxes. In the third week, it'll be three times five boxes for fifteen total boxes. Now, if I wanted to find out what any number of boxes sold for sorry, the box is sold for any number of weeks, I can think of the weeks as being n. I'm going to multiply n times 5, and I'm going to get 5n. So if I want to find out how many boxes are sold in the 100th week, I can think of it as 100 times 5, or 500. So at the end of the 100th week, Meredith would have sold 500 boxes. And don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more math tutorial videos.